everyone has it. And I love, that's why I love you said the code, because that code, I believe, is that individual's authentic self. And mm-hmm. sometimes we'll struggle to reach that authentic self, depending because we have different journeys. Mine was really challenging. And so I would tell people, wow, I'm at this age and I just found my authentic self, <laughs> I've done all these other things, but this is the one that's going to make the greatest difference. Mm-hmm. And so I would just like everyone to know, no matter where you are, you have this place, you have this authentic self, and that will also be your prosperity code <laughs> when, you, when you reach that. Hello, this is my amazing time with Roger Burnley. I actually follow him around and his story is really fascinating. Hi, Roger. How are you? I'm great. I am so happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. You've it's done some a- amazing things and we'll talk about it. <laughs> well, it just what we are meant to be because this, mm-hmm. this is an amazing time for us to share the voice, the, the humanity, the potential. We've been lied to so many years, right? Yes. And it's the time to start to have some fun and not to be serious. Before I get into more of the amazing story, let me introduce Roger. Roger Burnley is a life coach who brands and personal development with intuition and spirituality, guiding clients on a path of self-discovery over 36 years. Roger is recognized for his ability to bring a wealth of experience and knowledge and dedicates his life to aiding others in becoming the best version of themselves as empowered people. I'm so happy you are here. We can have fun conversations. Absolutely. So I wonder, would you like to share something like the turning points in your life journey? There have been so many because people see me now and they think this is what I've done my entire life, but I haven't. And actually, I stayed away from doing anything like this. I first part of my life, I was doing all kinds of different businesses. And then I started doing vocal coaching because I sing and I was a performer. So I started doing that. And as I did, I did it for like 35 years. And I would start to notice things, learn something more about my clients. And I started to see that my intuition was really strong with them in ways that I could not ex- explain. Then we're doing exercises, which I do at first, and then they always sing something. And I just started do- working on something, didn't know why I was doing it. And then the person wanted to sing this song. I'm going, oh, that's why I was doing it. That's happened so many times because I knew exactly where they needed to help. And so I was going to work on that. But that was just kind of unbelievable to me. And it, it, it happened all the time. My clients would say, are you, are you a psychic or something? How do you know this? But it was, I was just, that was just what was happening. I always wanted to make sure that they were gaining something. So my intent with anyone that I worked with was to get them to connect to themselves. And so the voice was one of the first ways. But one time a, uh, a woman came to me, she was referred by her therapist because the therapist felt that she was withholding something mm-hmm. from her, and she couldn't speak really well. So she thought may, maybe voice lessons would help. And they did. You know, our voice, I would tell my clients all the time, your voice is your first thing that people hear. And mm-hmm. so when you can't own it, it makes you afraid in whatever way yeah, that yeah, might yeah. happen. So that went on for a long time. And then I created this business, an online business that was really big for a while on singing with a partner in Australia. And along the way, he started telling me, he says, I think you're supposed to be doing personal development or something because you really understand this. And I go, no, I'm not going to do that. That's it. I said, I'm, I'm fine here. And then I finally said, okay, I'll do some of it. But as long as I don't do anything really woohoo-y, that's exactly what I said. And I, I'm telling you, I want everybody to understand it. And so, and then I, I just put together this program. It was called The Complete Artist. And the intention of it was, I felt that people who were performing or wanting to go out, they weren't connected to themselves. And so how could you give a really great performance? And so I wanted them to feel complete in who they were and know why are you singing the song? What does it mean to you? What is it going to give someone? And so that went on for a while. Then in 2017, I think it was, my brain said, you've got to go in a new direction. And I sold the business. It didn't make any, my, no one understood why I was doing this. It made, my family was just freaking out. They thought I've lost my mind because I was, I had all this money. Why would I do that? 
I knew there was a greater calling. I just couldn't put it all together. And so I kept dabbling with different little programs. I didn't know what I was doing. But then I said, I've got to write a book. So I wrote, that's when I wrote the book in 2019, Mm. Overcoming Fear, A Guide to Freedom. Because I know that fear is the thing that it holds us back. Most people, that's just the general thing. And, And no matter who you are, where you're going, when you have to go to that next level of who you are, you can have a little bit of fear. I had tons of it in my entire life. That's why I was really familiar with it. Yeah. And then in 2020, I knew the world was changing. Actually, it's been revealed to me through my guides that I knew before that. I just didn't understand what I was doing. I started 89 is the first message that I have. I had my guide, Wilhelm, and I'm receiving messages. I'm writing them down every single day. Look at my, I said probably like 10, 12,000 pages over the years. I didn't know why I was doing or why I was saving them even. Wow. And then it was revealed to me that we were going to go through a change in the world, a a societal change. Mm -hmm. And because I had gone through so much in my life, I had, when we talk about ascension, (laughs) wow, have I done that so many times. You're very clean now. (laughs) Oh, I'm telling you. It was just, I thought, why am I suffering so much? Why am I having all these disasters? Why is all this happening? And then I told this story, some of it last a few weeks ago. I went to Gaia and I reported mm. the show Beyond Belief with uh, wow. George Neary. Yeah. Yeah. And that's going to be up. But I said, you know, this is what happened in 2021. I mean, in 2020, I knew things were really changing. Everyone was focused on the pandemic. But I said, I knew it was something more than that the changes that were happening. And then in 2021, I'm out for a walk and I hear my guide say to me very clearly, we gave you everything you needed to know in 2012. I, and I'm like, that, that made no sense to me. I freaked out. I come in my house and I go to my computer and I look and I find a folder on my computer that I had not looked at that had the name Wilhelm. I don't even know how it got there. no memory of that. It was weird. And then I opened up the folder and most of the messages at 2012. Wow. Then I started understanding that was a change in our world then. And I was receiving all these messages this entire time. And what was going on with me is that I was healing things that I couldn't explain. All of this. And 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 still today, I mean, there's even more I've healed. It was just made, no, you know, it was just kind of crazy. I'm 73 now. Wow. Yeah. And a couple of weeks ago, I had my doctor's appointment. My doctor's saying, why are your numbers so good? Why? How did you correct this? How did that change? (laughs) Well, that's the mind-body connection. Mm, When you you move through that, you know? And so I thought, I've got to do more. So I said, I got to give this to others. That's been my drive now. Because Mm -hmm. if, you know, what we do, if we go through something that's challenging, we we can give it back to others and make their journey a little less difficult. And that's yeah, right. yeah. Well, everybody need to go through certain course. Mm-hmm. You just need to change the perspective. Like somebody like you start to share, this is what I went through. However, I get this from this course, right? right. And I think that it just bring a lot of hope in their right. mind to say, well, you know, it's Roger can do it. He's 73. The doctor right. said, cannot believe he's 73. Right. Then maybe there's a purpose for us to be like that too. Exactly. Right? Go through that process. Actually, the resilience will boost our special way to maintain our DNA. Mm-hmm. So our genetic actually reverse engineer. We are not aging that much once exactly. you decided to yes to experience that that the, the course, you know, and and volunteer say yes, yes, I am in fully. <laughs> There's the mechanics we don't understand yet. We don't. Understand I think exactly. eventually we will figure it out because human is unlimited. Right. Mm-hmm. We, we have someone say it and then we understand and everybody started, oops, you know, that things become a reality. I think but, you talk about the voice, but so no, it's always helping you or is sometimes give you some sort of confusing message. Well, this is what happened. Okay. I, I didn't trust any of it when I started hearing all of this that and, yeah. and was so difficult. So, mm-hmm. and you helped more today. I'll tell you why. <laughs> so I. I had two Akashic, Akashic records readings done in that in mm. 2021. I'd never done that before. Never. And just so curious, I just wanted, right? 
to see. Yeah. And, and the first lady said, wow, she says, I think I should be following you or something. That's what she said after. But the second one was so accurate. And she gave me the name, part of the name of what I heard that I was mm. because they said, we've given you a, a philosophy and it's called your life operating instructions. And it's, it's for the new world because you can't operate in the world the way you did before. You're moving to a different dimension. When I heard that, I just kind of really freaked out. And I've been saying, and so I had to kind of own this a little bit more. When I, I'm going, I'm going back to Gaia actually in, in October and doing a channeling conference. Mm. And I'm going to talk about planetary ascension. And wow. this is something that I, you know, I would have never <laughs> done before. Yeah. Like if I'm a, a singing coach becomes ascension. It's, it's <laughs> maybe nothing. And plus, I'm very introverted, so I didn't want to put it out there. I didn't want to talk about it, all of that. Yeah. But then when I started seeing the results that people, because I put together a program starting in 2021, and then I was seeing the results that these people were getting, I was just freaked out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but yeah. then it also stopped me for a little bit because I thought, oh, no. And so I haven't, um, now I'm, I'm, I'm going back and I'm finishing it. And so what happened today, when you sent, I had just talked, you're talking about prosperity code, right? Because I was upset with myself, Sunny, because I knew I started to recognize I had all this value and I wasn't putting it on there. I wasn't allowing my code to come out, which is what I'm trying to do with others. And then you send me that thing that just so, that code that just so perfectly des described my life that I could no longer deny it. <laughs> well, that, that is actually the purpose for the gene keys. Once you see your shadow, yes, there, it's not there anymore because you yes. can choose to say, okay, so I see you. I don't need to live like that anymore. Yes. You know, put it into the lights. Everything will be just vanished. Yes. Uh, but I'm so glad that really give you that synchronicity. <laughs> and it was you just really so, I, I couldn't believe it. And then, and then and before that, I went back, I found this because I write articles and I, you know, I put them out there a little bit, but I wrote an article a couple of years ago. I said, I could become a billionaire and transform the world because I felt that what I had developed would give people, you know, people would start loving themselves. They would start mm. living different lives and they would yes. spread that to others. This is what I'm going. But I thought, that's too grandiose sounding. But in the gene code, it said that was part of what I'm here to do. Yeah. So this program you are doing, I can envision. It's like after whatever the chaos it kind of calm down. Mm -hmm. This is the new order. That's the new system yes. for everybody to right. learn about who they are. Right. So that is, you are ahead of us again. <laughs> well, it's my Wilhelm, who's ahead, they, they said that you can, I, they gave me something the other day because I don't know. I don't recognize this. I'm just receiving information. Mm -hmm. and they go back and remind me, we gave you that before. And now you understand. But said we don't un understand things right away. We have to take time to get, allow that awareness to integrate into who we are. It's, mm. When I talk about planet, we have a, an individual ascension, meaning that we're moving through our journeys and we're understanding more all along the way. But they yeah, said, yeah, yeah, collective consciousness is doing the same thing. Mm. So our world is moving, trying to reach a higher state of consciousness. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. what I was told this period was going to be. Mm. That is amazing. This is give me goosebumps to move. <laughs> Uh, my my aspiration as study Jinky and uh, human design is the body mechanics. It's kind of like you open the hood of the car. So then you couldn't say the BMW is the perfect car for an American car. Like mm -hmm. even they're perfect, but they're just not fit. Right. right. So the body mechanics is really the user manual. So they know how to operate their vehicle. Right. And, you know, the lifestyle because I'm the lifestyle coach. And you say, my body need to be together. Then we need to have right. so the direction, the guidance. That's really our higher self. So you mentioned you can coach people to connect the higher self. So I'm curious about, is there any definition? How you define that's your higher self? They huh? feel it. Like what happened was mm -hmm. my, my directions were very clear when I was putting together this program. Mm -hmm. well, but they just used this message. They would give me specific messages. All of them came from 2012. By the way. Mm -hmm. And I would put the message in there. And then I would talk about 
what I received from the message because oh. sometimes I didn't understand. It took me years to think about it and go, oh, that makes sense. And then I understood, wait a minute, this is like, this is neuroscience. This is <laughs> that? something else that's happening here because I would have to think about it and then I'd figure it out and it would be like, oh, that's what they meant. Then other people started telling me that and people would read some of the Wilhelm messages and they would say, it feels like they're talking to me. I said, well, I'm connecting to universal consciousness. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. And so it would, and then it just, it just kept going from there. And I had so, so much fun with it. So they, they get re received on um, this assignment, a uh -huh. little video, just a couple minutes. And then they have things to fill out. They have questions that they need to answer because what it's doing is getting them to open their consciousness and connect. Mm. They're never told none of this is about what you should do. It's about opening up what's already within you. Mm. And it is shocking to see because when some people, when they would do an assignment, they would start writing um, like a book or something and just on one thing because it's just pouring out all of this consciousness. And then each day they were feeling better. They were understanding more. Some days they couldn't get through it. Some days it was too difficult because they had to look at something or examine something within them that was really painful. We are not feeling comfortable to share that side of us, but <laughs> we all right have word. it, right? You said the right word. This is, I have so many messages I received a long time ago from Wilhelm that says, please stop hiding. Yeah, that's what we do. And then I always use this too. I tell people um, one thing that really impacted me was listening to um, the actor Jim Carrey. You know, he's this crazy actor, he's done all these things, but he said, the problem with most people is they don't want to be seen. Ah, uh, fear of the success. Mm -hmm. We all have generational trauma. We all have things we've moved through, and but we carry things as well. I, I was a medical biologist, but after 2020, I think I got activated somehow. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Mean, and start to flow. <laughs> and I said, wow, here, you know, and that. But see, before then, I already did you just like you, I already ascension some of that. Right. <laughs> so I'd be free to move easier than others still trapped in the career. You know, I want right. retirement and all that. I don't have anything attached to me anyway. So it's easier for me to start to navigate. I learned about actually the human design system is the full esoteric system. You have the Hindu chakra. That's how the body right. grab with the energy flow. Then you have astrology, the 12 houses, then outside you see all the numbers as associated with astrology. Um, then you have a hexagram patterns, mm -hmm. the Chinese ancient I Ching. Mm -hmm. But something you cannot see right away is the Kabbalah. It's yes, yes. Uh, in the Hebrew ancient yes. system. So it's like life is like tree. You always yes. no, no ending, no starting, and right. you got past memory. The Kabbalah is based on the Torah. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot of theories talk about we are in the simulation game. Right. Right. A lot of people have evidence, the pyramids and all the, the, the records you just have somebody mm -hmm. read because our higher mind can recognize symbols much better. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. they are struggling how to tell us that, right? <laughs> we yes, don't understand. exactly. That's it. And so I wanted to make something that would give people an easy way to go about it where mm -hmm. they could be consistent because it's just a matter of just opening up each and every day to whatever consciousness it, you, you know, you're meant to do. And I was just doing it for so long, you know, but it's interesting when I first started doing automatic writing, it, it frightened me at first because I thought, wait a minute, what am I receiving? And so then on the very first time I was started practicing it and I started receiving information, I said, wow, who's speaking to me? <laughs> and then I heard, is this another part of you, your higher self, but you can call us whatever you like. Mm. And if that makes you uncomfortable, it did. And so... <laughs> I blurted out, Wilhelm. Uh, I had no clue at that time as to why I would say that name. I'm not German. I don't know anybody. But I didn't know where it came from. And it kept being revealed to me over the years. Hmm. Little by little, I would start to see things. Then just this month ago, I got another connection because I always felt like a lot of the information that I was receiving from Wilhelm was sim similar or reminiscent of Carl Jung. And I thought, mm. and I would stop, but I didn't study him. I hadn't read, I, I didn't know. And I had started listening to the red, his big thing in last year. And so 
I now finished it. And at the end of it, he's thanking Wilhelm. And I go, what? That was so crazy. Wilhelm was somebody that he worked with. And they, they were the ones, the I Ching, that's where mm -hmm. that came from. Mm -hmm. And I thought, but I had no awareness of that. And then they gave me other references. When I would do a channeling session, they would say, well, Roger was meant to bring in science, spirituality, and human potential. That was my role in this life. I go, okay, <laughs> let's see. And then, but it all started to make sense. Because it's, I, 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 the things that I had received, I, <laughs> I started to understand science in a different way. And it caused me to heal so that must show what could be done because i healed mm. things that people say were impossible yes, but that's yes. mm. human potential mm. wow i just feel like wow we should know each other like five <laughs> years ago <laughs> it's like we can study eating together i actually translate a whole jinky book this is the book into mandarin uh -huh. like two uh -huh. years Oh my um, gosh. So I, I work with Gene Key's team. So everything they say actually is frequency. Mm -hmm. It's not the right, meaning exactly. of the words, right? What you said when you say silence, it's not like be quiet. Yes. It's the silence, the energy fields, your amazing profiles. And I don't know whether you want to. Oh, yes. No, please. Learn more about maybe oh, have more synchronicity. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I have never read anything more accurate. So Gene Key's the blueprint, but we can have a free choice to do. Mm -hmm anything in that map because there are different level of consciousness you have a shadow that means the right. default we will come in with a shadow but but that's the contrast when you have a shadow you know there's a light that the profile sent to you is the golden mm -hmm. path three different sequences so the mm -hmm. first it's called activation so you have life work evolution mm -hmm. radiance purpose mm -hmm. so that is the Doing and being. Most of us don't really know have a being until certain things happen. Right, exactly. Right? We just do and busy, you know, entertain our ego, but we don't know that being until mm -hmm. certain thing happen. The the shocks or mm -hmm. the losses, right? Um, so that's the first sequence. The second one is called Venus. That is for us as adults to go back to that imprinting process. So you have IQ, EQ, and SQ. That is the 21 years, like three of the seven years imprinting. Mm -hmm. So IQ is when we like 14 to 21, we start to want to know who I am, you know, want to know mm -hmm. what I'm here to do and bring honor to our family, that kind of thing, right? The program about achievement, right? <laughs> Then you have the EQ that is the teenager, 7 to 14. That's the time the emotions start to kind of getting crazy. Then we have the strategy to, to defend, to, to repress because we don't feel comfortable. So that strategy is based on the, the programming too. Like your teacher can say, ah, don't worry about that. You know, mm -hmm. you're not that, whatever. So that become to have this voice in our head yeah, say, oh, yes. we are, we're not good. You know, I'm emotional. Better not to be that and shut off your emotion, that kind of strategies. Then by the, the, the center one is called SQ. That's really the relationship relate to ourselves mm -hmm. and the environment. That is the seven years imprinting. I think a lot of scientists actually talk about that, right? You know, right. you have the subconscious programming operation system. It's all happening in that seven years. That's very tough to get deep. But that's how the higher self, when someone, the guides, mm. whip direct us to, to correct that. But I mean, it's the right timing. So you have to go through the core. As, so that's the Venus sequence for us to know there's something we can let go. Mm -hmm. Right. And the third one is called Pearl sequence. Think about the Pearl, right? When it happens, mm. no, no one can do anything right. other than to just sit, polish and nurture and make it become bigger than the problem, mm -hmm. then you don't have problem anymore. Right? You got shiny, shiny, glossy pearl. Pearl sequence is the vocation and the business. What are we here to do? Right. And based on your profile, the hexagram is based on the eight different natural phenomena, like the mm -hmm. wind, the thunder, uh, the water, the lake. So the ancient Chinese, in a way, they contemplate about the natural messages. They don't mm -hmm. have computer. 
they don't have the broadcast. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they don't know like the injury is coming, but someone can sit and observe the, the wind, you know, how they grow and you know, all kind of thing. So the EG is based on the eight mm-hmm. phenomena and the hexagrams, the two trigrams. So each trigram is one phenomena. So if I put that four spheres in the pearl sequence mixed up, you come out with three A's of the fire. Mm-hmm. Then you have two A's of the thunder and two A's of the wind. You are in the process to, to you know, alchemy out something. Mm-hmm. You are in the process to go through the initiative. Mm-hmm. Then through the fire, you become transformed to be different being. But you also become a messenger. That's the wind. Ancient people say, well, the wind coming is a message is something. The sound is coming or it's a good weather is coming or some good messages from higher self. Right? <laughs> so the wind is really the messenger. So right. put that things together. I can definitely see you initiate something, but yourself need to do a transformation first. Mm-hmm. Then you become a fixer because in your profile, it's three, five. In human design, the five that's actually your design side that made you not aware until you the right timing. But uh, before you become a fixer no. <laughs> or leader or saver, in a way, saver all this craziness, the, you are like number three. Number three people, they need to taste everything. Right. They want to go through high and low so they, they feel they are living the full life. But, but, but the purpose is not just for fun, is because you collect information, you make that a tool, you can start to become a leader in a certain community that you share your gifts. Um, that's how the whole pearl sequence speak to me. Mm. But they also tell you your, your role in your business. That is your vocation. Your vocation is 32. And that is actually everlasting. It is like a thunder and wing. So you always initiate and the wing grow that information out. So you continue consistently to That's, do that yeah. as your business. But you are actually a philanthropist. Mm-hmm. You are number six line. You are not doing that for, for you or for a small right. group. You're doing for human. You're was, that. So glad you could say that. See, because I those child because I said I I know that's it, but to get that receive that confirmation because it's always been that that drive that yeah. wait a minute I could could really uplift the world. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> kind of heavy sometimes, right? <laughs> exactly, and it's felt that way many times because, mm. uh, but but now I'm more motivated because I can even feel the changes so so much more of what's going on. The structure of your business is building the system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that means you can let somebody run it for years, for hundred years, for thousand that's, years. Yes, right? that's exactly it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's your system. So you're just create this amazing things for us or for the next generation to right. carry that's on. That's it. Yes. And, and it's come out so many times in my channeling sessions too, that that's what this is, is to, to, to start helping and building this new mm-hmm. generation, this new world. That's yeah, yeah, favorite. yeah. Well, that, we are so lucky you finally listen right? <laughs> and start exactly. to do it. <laughs> yes, because I was, I told, I said, I, many times I said, well, I'm just a reluctant mystic. I'm just, I was holding out. But the other part of me, it's always been who I am. I want to know. Mm. And I want to know for sure. And then another thing that came in my profile that you said that when I would make these startling, these discoveries that it, they would startle me. And that's exactly what happened. Mm. I would, Wait a minute. And I, and so I have to like really accept that. And I, and one thing I would do all the time when that would happen, I would call one of my brothers. I said, please talk to me. Oh, this is okay. Cause it was just, it was so much, but I knew that I had something that could, I just had to get that grounding, you know, mm. to, to, to bring it forth. So, but now I'm thrilled with it. Yeah, the other yeah. thing they told me and which didn't make sense, it was that they said, okay, so we've given you all these messages in 2012. And if you meet someone on the, at their, if you, at their birthday, we'll have a message that will relate to them. Mm. And I said, that's interesting. So tell me what's your month and day, just your month and day. Uh, July 9th. Let's see. Let's see. What? I'm getting some reading then. (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay. And they said, you know, the message will relate for everyone, but for those people, because specifically, oh, your contribution. Oh, right. this is your message. This will be. Oh, you just said this too. <laughs> okay. Decide to have fun. <laughs> when you find yourself filled with a certain amount of anxiety, fear, or trepidation before beginning a project, make the mental decision that you will have fun with it precisely as you intended. You will find that many times things that you make so serious, if you will, were never intended to be that way. You always intended to fully embrace your physical life journey and all of the adventures it would offer you, for you knew all of it would lead to your greater expansion. You will find also that when you do decide to have fun, information flows to you easily as it is more readily available. <laughs> that was your message on your birthday. Oh, you know, that expansion is my gift in my life work. That's <laughs> And you just talked and about fun. this. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yeah, well, that's the, they, they're putting watching us and say, yes, you finally get it, huh? <laughs> exactly. This is just so much fun. So the new structure you're going to build is kind of flat. It's a leadership by everybody doing their job. So you don't even right. have a hierarchy. It's yes. a hierarchy. It's teamwork. So we right. can create a new system mm -hmm. by meeting people because you're 44. That the e Ching is coming to meet. Mm -hmm. So people will come to meet you or you meet them. Right. Then yes. you become a flat synarchies to carry on the mission. So wow, I'm so honored to meet you. I just say, wow, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> so yes. You, that's mm. so great because you really, the, that confirmation, because that's what I tell a lot of people. So most times I'm just giving others confirmation, you know, mm -hmm. even when I'm doing a channeling or something like that. So we're all doing that. Yes, yes. Well, I thoroughly enjoy the conversation and anxious to know how to connect with you. That's the best place to go. It's rogerburnley.com. Okay. It's the best place because all of my links will be there. I'm in the mm -hmm. process of rebranding it, but they can still find everything there now. Sure, sure. Wow. I wonder, is there any parting message you'd like to share related to the prosperity? Yes. Is that what we, everyone has it. And I love, that's why I love you said the code. Because that code, I believe, is that individual's authentic self. And mm -hmm. sometimes we'll struggle to reach that authentic self, depending because we have different journeys. Mine was really challenging. And so I would tell people, wow, I'm at this age and I just found my authentic self. <laughs> I've done all these other things, but this is the one that's going to make the greatest difference. Mm -hmm. And so I would just like everyone to know, no matter where you are, you have this place, you have this authentic self. And that will also be your prosperity code when you, when you reach that. You know? Yes. Well, that can be the moment's choice. You know, mm -hmm. I'm abundant. Yes. You know, regardless, you are, yes. we are abundant. Are abundant. Right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's such a pleasure to have you, Roger. Thank and... you so much. I love it. You, you, you have no idea. Uh, good luck with all the things with the guy that follow their channel. They have amazing stuff and yes. all the great people share the knowledge and wisdom. Um, just yeah. like I say, we, we thought we're not ready. We deny our divinity, mm -hmm. right? We all have that. Yes. But, uh, we just, no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that one a lot, so I know. <laughs> so thank you so much, Roger. Thank you. And it's such a pleasure and good luck with everything. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.